My God! Move aside. I'm a doctor. This is Detective Cornelius B. Welch. How may I assist you? Hello, Mrs. Uh... My name is Kat Winslow. My apologies, I couldn't read it. Called you in here first because you seem to be the closest with the victim, but also you hired me. Yes, I'm very concerned about the situation with Carly. I could tell that it wasn't an accident. Do you suspect foul play? Definitely. I think it was that girl Mary Milwaukee. The way she was all over Carly's body claiming to be a doctor. Is she not a doctor? She's just a plastic surgeon. If she were as smart as she thinks she is, then why is she tampering with any evidence? And I know that Harry Bush saw them talking at the party earlier. First of all, it's Harold. And yeah, I heard them arguing something about promoting her plastic surgery practice. It sounded pretty bad. What? No. We were just talking normally. I mean, I think it was Harry. He was the first one on the scene. How do we know he didn't do it? I think he did it. They were having a quiet argument to the side earlier. Something about her canceling him for some racist shit he said in the past. Yeah, I know I might have said some things in my past, but nothing worth killing that snowflake over. God, people are so sensitive these days. Did she also tell you about that little dispute they had earlier? Did Cindy tell you that? Yeah, I heard that argument. Something about promoting her makeup wipes and how Carly couldn't promote it to her followers. I wouldn't promote those wipes to my clients either. You want to talk about promoting? Carly said no to promoting Kat's new film because of her creepy co-star. Oh, DiCaprio? I love Wolf of Wall Street. That's my guy. I saw the whole thing. Carly said no to Kat about promoting her upcoming film because he's a creepy pedo. He's actually a nice guy. And I was relatively understanding, but I wouldn't kill her over it. Mm-hmm. One last thing. Can you tell me what this damn thing says? Dabrowski. Excuse me. When I arrived, I was told that the murder weapon was missing and there was only one piece of evidence. A wipe. Now, beyond my confusion was a logistical hindrance. Why was this deemed as evidence? Then the interrogations. Everybody at the party had a motive for murder, but none of them were substantial. You see, this mystery, it's a, an ice cream sundae. Why don't you put your spoon in and scoop out the center? Only one suspect remains at the essence. You see, earlier in the party, Miss Curtis told Mr. Dabrowski that she could not promote her makeup wipes. Not that she wouldn't, but that she couldn't. Now, why is that? Furthermore, Dr. Milwaukee said that she would not promote those Wipes to her patients neither. An interesting motive for murder, but not too different from the rest. However, one piece of evidence cracks this case. You see, I have this thing where I cannot read, and I, I knew the wife said something on it, but I couldn't read it. However, when Miss Winslow read it out for me, it was the chariot on top of this Sunday. The wife reads the browsky. Mr. Dabrowski's wife was not just a random piece of evidence, but the murder weapon. Those wives contain a toxic chemical that can cause a fatal allergic reaction, which is why Dr. Milwaukee would not recommend this for her patients. Upon hearing that Ms. Curtis was allergic to the wives, she discovered her motive for murder. Isn't that right, Mr. Dabrowski? Well done, detective. You solved it. Yes, it was me. My wipes were getting bad reviews online, and I knew that only someone with Carly's popularity could fix my reputation. But then she said no. All these years I've spent building myself from the ground up, all the hard work, all the dedication to my career, well, it all went to waste when that Nepo baby bitch said no. When I found out she was allergic to the wipes, I knew what I had to do. I cornered her in the bathroom and I took my chance. 
So, you solved it. But what's gonna stop me from flying to Cancun? <laughs> now you see, before I came in here, I already dialed 911. The police are on their way already. That's 611. You called T Mobile, you idiot! Shitballs. Oh.